and Space Jam. Space Jam, Lola Bunny. I'm pissed. I'm furious. I'm not going to lie. I, um, I am too. I am too. Lola was one of my too. favorite characters out of Space Jam, and not because she was fine as hell, but because she was- But, but in all fairness, Lola Bunny was fine. She she definitely was. If I had if I had a cartoon crush back in the day, it was Lola Bunny. And for y'all to go and change her, you took her from a ten to a six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like this is not the Lola that I grew up with. It's like it's like <laughs> high school Lola versus ten year reunion Lola. Yeah, um, yeah. Nah. Nah. Is it really necessary? You could you could have just kept Lola Lola the same. And <laughs> what was their reasoning? They were saying, oh, because um, we want Lola to be looked at as an amazing, strong female character and not be looked at for her looks and her sexuality. So we make her less attractive. So, Come on. All right. So what is it? What what is that sending? What is that sending to the young women? That you can't Very be beautiful and, and strong. strong. I was gonna say you're not allowed to be beautiful and strong. So, so you have to be one or the other. Right. You have to be straight, like an average. You got to be a six in order to be classified as a strong female character because you're not allowed to. Be to look good. In order to be respected and taken seriously, you got to be average looking, with uh, you know, great. Personality qualities or features. Yes, <laughs> I, I think it's very sad. Um, yeah, I thought that was interesting. Uh, and you know, like Mike, we were talking about the um, uh, the, the the canceling and the different uh, characters that should be canceled and stuff like that. Or, or even right. the same with sexuality. You know, you look back at certain shows. Um, I think I sent you a couple more pictures. Certain yeah. shows where uh, the subliminal messages. Okay. I'll, I'll so, 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 which one we? Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. We got, we got some comments. Let, let's read these comments real quick before we get to that picture. She looks the same, just a different outfit. Nah. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I want you. To, I want you to look very carefully. It, look very carefully. Please look very carefully. I'm gonna. Uh, hold on. We're, we're okay. I want you to look at her. <laughs> and I want you to look at her. I want you to look very closely. And what do you notice about her without being <laughs> without being too creepy? <laughs> There's a clear difference. There's a clear in, difference. in, in both Lolas. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Clear difference. I'm just saying. And those compression shorts are not sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're not. They're you know, I'm. She don't look the same. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't want. I don't want to um, get borderline. You know, I was, weird I was having a conversation, um, and you could just throw. I think I got a, a Powerpuff Girls uh, picture in there somewhere, something like that. Having a conversation about some of the subliminals and old cartoons and stuff, and you know, Powerpuff Girls specifically, they had. Um, wait, 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 wait! <laughs> the comment. Yes, thank you, thank you. She went from thick eyes, right. same lives. Two sticks, don't do that. That's what it changed. It's <laughs> you know, it ridiculous. Let, let's go to some of these other pictures that um that are uh, within this topic because I, I really can't. Um, hold up, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna go here. All right, talk oh, to me. Describe <laughs> what we are looking at right now. All right, well, we we know this is Rugrats. Can can you can you read that that label on the, the pack of gummy worms? Hold up. No, they didn't. <laughs> Did that say come like wow? What come like squirmy? Is that what it says? Come like something, something. Gummies or something. I don't know, something. But so wait a minute. So okay. So let me let me try to defend them. Let me try to defend the animators. They might have been trying to say gum like, and maybe their G isn't that pronounced. Okay. Therefore, that's why the G looks like a C. Okay. 
That's the only thing I can think. That's the only defense that I can come up with. Yeah, we, but, we can go um, ahead. either way, it looks bad. It looks really bad. I mean, what the baby's doing with bags that say "come on them" <laughs> <laughs> makes no sense. I mean, you know, it, it comes as no surprise. We we've had uh, we've heard stories of animators, you know, putting shit like this within their cartoons yes. as jokes, or you know, just to see if it makes it past the editing room or whatever like that. And a lot of yeah. times they do. Um, especially Hold on, we got Mitch Savage coming in. in. Yeah. What's Mitch up? Savage, what's happening? What's going on? What's going on, man? How you doing? Pretty good. How y'all doing, man? All right, all right. Hey, we can't complain, man. We're talking about we're talking about cancer culture and questionable cartoons that we've seen in the past. And we came across this picture that that uh, Bars brought up. And uh, read what that bag says that Tommy Pickles has in his hand. Come, what's it? come like, come like what? <laughs> what does that say? <laughs> it looks like it says "come like squirmies," right? Come like squirmies. Yeah. Your your thoughts? Hmm. I, I mean, I mean, you, it, Rugrats ain't been on the air in how long? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, you can't cancel them now. No, nah, you, you, no. you definitely can't cancel them now. I think you, <laughs> we, we, we're thinking about all the all the old cartoons that used to have all those subliminals in them, you yeah. know. Um, and I was I was getting ready to talk about like Powerpuff Girls. All um, right, let's let's, let's talk about it. I watched Powerpuff Girls. It used to back in the day. That was my shit. I'm not gonna lie. Um, oh, yeah. but Powerpuff Girls, you know, we had uh the the uh the character the mayor, character of the mayor. Um, Mr. Jojo. Yes, I don't, know, Jojo, Jojo. I don't remember if you remember the the villain, uh, him. Oh yeah, the villain him. Oh, yeah. That was that was yeah. the red, right. That was the red <laughs> guy, girl. I don't remember what what it was. I don't know what it was either. <laughs> it wore high heels. It had a skirt on, but it had a beard too. Um. But you know things like that was put in, put was put into you know uh, just our generation um, as kids watching that type of stuff. So I wonder, you know, if if those things have an actual effect <clears throat> on us mentally. You know what I mean? Uh, SpongeBob. Um, uh, you talk about um, what? Well, it was another one. There's a couple of them, man. Mitch, what are what are some what are some examples of animated? shows back in the day that you look at now as an adult and you say damn that's that's actually kind of inappropriate i mean there's a plethora of them actually because our generation wasn't that wasn't that sensitive and the parents weren't they, either they, like right. i think they're like dexter's they're laboratory that, part. that is per like that part continue please that was that was beautifully put you don't you don't have to actually even go, go with the cartoons. You can go with like some of the shows like That's So Raven and uh Drake and Josh. You can go even further into saying iCarly and stuff like that it has a whole lot of innuendos that you can construe to be something else, but you usually don't take it as anything more as just a joke for the parents to have to sit there, really. Right, yeah. right. No, and that's that's usually what it was. It was something for you know, it was little things for the adults in there that they would catch, but the kids weren't going to catch. They you do know? that in Disney Disney movies all the time. You know, to so this day, now, all the time. So now I feel like I feel like our generation is kind of being some suckers by growing up, rewatching these things, and saying, "Oh, I can't believe we watched these as kids." Oh, let's ruin it for these other kids and cancel that shit. They, yeah, not, let's ruin everybody's childhood. Yeah, they can't enjoy it like we enjoyed it. You know what I mean? I, n I never, I, but I, I guess I, I don't know, man. It, it even goes with like violence in movies and people blaming rap music for you know some of the shit that they do, you know, in the streets and shit like that. It's like, you know, that's that's all a mental thing, man. I don't, I've I've never watched something and it made me want to do some shit unless it was like sports.